to my channel today we are in my bedroom we're gonna do a closet tour winter edition I say winter edition because I actually don't have that much space to store all of my clothes so what I do is I separate my wardrobe into spring summer and then fall winter and I will put away all of the things that I'm not wearing that season into my suitcases actually which go behind our wardrobes this way I have more space to actually showcase and organize the things that I want to wear that season. It saves me a lot of space as well and I like that everything is more organized and functional. So I'm going to take you through every single part of my wardrobe today. I'm also going to show you how I like to organize some things like little organizational tips. I hope that you guys will enjoy, find this helpful and let's get started. So here is a quick overview of our bedroom. You guys would have seen this if you watched our apartment tour. I'll have that linked below in case you missed it. But this is where we sleep this is where I get dressed and we have these wardrobes right here these are nice and tall and I like that they are mirrored as well because it just makes the space look a little bit bigger a little bit brighter and we have the same two wardrobes here on this side and then we've got some drawers over here we like these drawers because as you can see the wall slants downwards so we've tried to use the space as best as we can and like fit as much storage as possible we've also got another set of drawers here and then we had this little space here we didn't really know what to do with it but we did need a place to store our shoes or some of our shoes so we put in these little shelves and I really like how it displays the shoes nicely and then we've got three more of the very tall uh, cupboards over there as well this one is mine and then these two are Mo's and then through here we've got my handbags so we're gonna start on this corner of the closet so behind these two doors I've got all of my shorter jackets um, and also some blazers I've got some denim jackets here and then on the bottom row I have all of my tops and shirts pretty much everything that I wear on my upper half that doesn't have to be folded I like to keep as many things as possible on hangers because I feel like it's a lot easier to see what you have it just generally allows me to see what I have better than if it's folded so I prefer to have things hanging I also like to keep things kind of color coordinated to a certain degree so here we've got the black items, a dark green, um, some blue, and then some more neutral colors, and then white. Again, it just keeps things a little bit more organized and beautiful to look at. And I always want to be inspired by my own closet, so I like to keep things quite like neat. This is a really nice, more warm, puffy jacket that I love to wear when it's cold. We've also got a beautiful black kind of faux fur jacket that I really like as well. This is really nice for evenings out. Got some leather jackets here. These are like biker type of jackets. Um, a black blazer that I really love. These are some of my denim jackets. I love this one from Sandro. You guys have probably seen this in some of my other videos, but I love this um, design on the back. It is so beautiful. I also really love this blazer. It's like a blue kind of grayish uh, type of blazer. Super beautiful. This is from Massimo Dutti. This jacket, this is also one of my favorites at the moment. This is from Zara. It's so cozy and I really love the color of it as well. This one is really fun as well. This is um, another like kind of blazer. This is from Zara. It's got all of these gold embellishments on it. I think it is so beautiful very like chanel-esque <laughs> and then some bomber jackets here and this one is a really nice one as well so yeah i have all of my shorter jackets and blazers here and then i have this little like shelf thing where i like to keep my um sun hats like my beach hats these i just keep here because they are a little bit more difficult to pack away during the winter. I don't want to ruin the shape or anything, so I just keep them here on this little table. And then moving down to the second row, I'm filming by myself today. So we're gonna do the best that we can with this, but hopefully you guys can see what I'm trying to show you. So on this row, we've got all of my tops. And again, I like to keep it quite color coordinated. 
As you can see, I really love to wear white and lighter colors. I really love neutrals and like white tops. I feel like they bring a lot of light to your face. So here is another look at all of my tops. Um, I've got all of my black pieces here. I've got both like long sleeved items here and then um, some t-shirts. This is a really nice Kenzo one. And I've also got my short sleeve stuff here. So yeah, I just try to keep it um organize kind of by color i do have some dresses here like this one for example which is not too too long so that fits in this closet but any dresses that are like very very summery that i know i'm not going to wear in um, fall winter i put those away in my suitcase but this i would still wear with black over the knee boots and maybe a sweater on top and a jacket then we move into the blues and like prints a little bit of red i've also got some long sleeved shirts right here like button shirts some more lacy white tops these i wear all the time in um, spring summer these are like white little cami tops but i do also layer them underneath other things in um, fall winter okay so that is that closet let's move on to the next the next closet will be this one right here this is where i have all of my bottoms so all of my pants all of my jeans my skirts and shorts and again i like to hang things as much as possible so that i can really see what I have it's easy to go through it's easy to find things and I think in general it just looks more beautiful and more inspiring to want to get dressed so I've got my black pants some denim um, a white pair of denim and then I also like to hang my uh, like my comfy pants because I sometimes wear these during the day as well and I do like to just Again, see what I have, keep things organized. I think having your things organized actually makes you buy less stuff because you actually get to see what you have. If I have too many things folded and it kind of just becomes like a big ball of clothes in my drawers, I can literally forget about things. So I'm often going through what I have. I'm donating clothes constantly. I love to go through my closet. Sometimes, like now, it's really neat and organized because I just did this, but there are definitely times where it does get a bit out of control so then I like to go through everything that I have I give a lot of stuff away and just kind of revamp my closet I do that every few weeks so that I'm just keeping stuff that I know that I wear if I haven't worn something in I would say like over 12 months it's got to go in this part right here I have all of my skirts and my shorts this is something else that I don't mind having out when it's fall winter because they have their own like little section and it doesn't interfere with anything else so they live here throughout the fall winter but there are some skirts like for example this leather skirt um, or this one right here that I like to wear in the fall winter with again like a thick pair of stockings some over-the-knee boots and a sweater so I do like to keep those out but but this section over here I barely touch during um, the colder months so that is my uh, pants closet and then this part right here is actually Mo's and I don't know if he wants me to go through that so I'm gonna keep that closed so now I'm gonna show you what I have in these drawers right here we'll start with this one this is my underwear drawer actually this is where I have all of my undies some bras these are some like adhesive type of bra things that work really well for backless dresses in the summer. We've got some fashion tape here. It's always good to have on hand for certain tops and dresses. I like to organize things as much as possible in these like little divider boxes, containers. So I've got my bras here, some more over there, some stockings. Um, these are like some thicker stockings for fall winter. And then here I have my sock box. <laughs> so some different types of socks. These I wear when I work out. Then here I have all of my underwear and I do like to fold them and pop them in like vertical like this again just so that I see everything that I have and I kind of want my whole wardrobe to look a bit like a store like a shop it just makes it more fun to get dressed and again it keeps everything organized and neat and tidy in this drawer right here I have all of my PJs I've also got some belts and again I just like to keep them in like a little separate um, organizer box these two piles I reach for almost every single day these are camisoles that I like to wear underneath my sweaters so I've got um, a stack of white ones and then these are some like nude beige ones and then I've just got um, like some sleeping stuff over there really cozy in this drawer right here I've got all of my workout clothes so I've got all of my um, pens over here so we've got this white pair from Lululemon I really like 
the prints, like a white gray. I really like these green ones as well. They're from Oisho. And then we've got a few different black pairs over here. I've also got my um, like spinning pants that have a, a padding uh, between the legs. So I just keep them there because they don't fold as nicely as these. And then here I've got some workout tops. And then here we've got some workout bras. I would say my favorite are definitely um, the Nike ones. I have a gray one over here and a black one Ooh, there. So that is my workout drawer. And then on the bottom, I've actually got all of my um, swimwear, all my swimsuits are over here. And then my bikinis are folded away here. So I've got all of my tops. And then these are all of the bottoms. Because I have quite a lot, I don't actually put these away because they just kind of live comfortably in this drawer. And if we go to a spa or something and I need a swimming suit, they're just easy for me to grab. Moving on to these drawers right here. In this first one, I've got some hats. This gray one I wear so often because it's so thick and um, cozy. I've also got a black one and these kind of like French beret hats are really cute as well so I keep those there and then some gloves in the back and then in this drawer I've got a few of my scarves I have some other ones in um, the drawers below but these didn't fit and they're more lightweight so I just keep them together here on the top and now going into some of my favorite drawers of my closet during this time of year this is where I keep all of my sweaters so again I like to kind of organize them by color so in this one I have all of my beige and nude kind of light brown colored sweaters and this one is super thick and cozy and then this is a really nice cashmere one from Reese I wear this all of the time these are a couple of turtlenecks and again just keeping everything in the light brown um, like nude type of color palette and then in this drawer right here I've got some more kind of like white and gray colored sweaters. It's a really nice white, very soft sweater from Zara. It's more fitted. And then we've got a cable knit sweater over here. Um, this is a turtleneck. That is how I keep all of my sweaters. And again, I like to keep things so that I can see what I have. And then in this one, I've got all my darker sweaters. I've actually had this one for so many years. This is one of the oldest things in my closet, but I still love it so, so much. This is new from Zara. Amazing. Super, super soft. And it's a nice turtleneck as well. And yeah, I've got some black ones over here. Those are my sweater drawers. So I've got three of them. And then in the last drawer here, I've got some scarves. Now these are a little bit chunkier and um, bigger than the ones that I had on top. I like things that are quite neutral so that I can pair a lot of things together. And the material of these are super, super soft and cozy. Um, this one looks quite Chanel inspired. It's kind of like a tweed fabric. Really like this. This is from Zara. So those are my drawers over here. This section is Moe's and he has his like little things in there. And then on the top here, I just have some little accessories, my perfumes. This is where I keep some of my jewelry. This little organizer is from Muji and it's so helpful, especially for like little pieces of jewelry like earrings, rings. In this one, I always keep my engagement ring and my earrings but I have those on today, so that's why it's empty. But it's really, really convenient. And then in the bottom one, here I have some bigger pieces. So I've got um, like some gold hoop earrings. I really love these chunky gold earrings as well. I've got a few pairs of those. So that is that drawer. And then we've got some perfumes over here. This is my favorite at the moment. It's from Jo Malone. It's called Jasmine Sandback and Marigold. It is so so good and this is one of my favorites for the summer it's the bronze goddess by Estee Lauder I have bought several of these bottles over the last couple of years really love my perfumes and this by the way is an amethyst crystal and it's so beautiful I love to have crystals around my apartment this is a little bracelet stand where I like to put my watch at the end of the day but I'm also wearing that now and these are my sunglasses these are the ones that I wore pretty much all of summer they're from Celine and I just bought these ones uh, a few days ago actually very classic and chic this is what they look like on 
I love them so much. I actually showed these in my last vlog. You guys might have seen them there. And of course, we have the mirror there in front as well. I've got some of my necklaces over there, um, a photo of me and Mo. And then on this side, I've got some books that I like to read in the evening, um, a little uh, fragrance diffuser, some flowers. This is another photo of me and Mo. This was taken in Florence um, last summer. I really love this picture. And yeah, that is the whole section over here. So we're now on the other side of my bedroom and this closet right here, this is one of my favorite parts of my wardrobe this season. This is where I have all of my longer coats that don't fit in the other closet. So this closet is nice and long and keeps all of my longer coats. I'm really into these very like fluffy kind of teddy bear coats this season. Again, of course, I like to organize them by color. So I've got a really nice white one, some brown ones over here, and then this is like a fun leopard coat, and this is a beautiful blue, kind of uh, like navy blue gray type of coat. So these are my winter coats right here. And then on the bottom here, I have some shoe boxes with some summer shoes that I'm not wearing now and a beach bag. But yeah, these are my coats. I do actually have another gray one that should go right here, but it's at the dry cleaners. So I don't have it right now. And these drawers right here are Moe's. So he has like some of his underwear, socks, sweaters. We've also got towels and like bed sheets and stuff in some of the lower ones. This is definitely another one of my favorite parts of my closet. We also had this place empty for a really long time. We didn't really know what to do with it, so we decided to put in some like floating shelves, and now I can display all of my bags. It worked out quite perfectly, I think, and I just love that you can see them really easily. It kind of looks like a store. I want to feel like I'm going shopping in my closet. That's, that's the goal. So we can start from the bottom here. This is a Chloe bag. This is the bracelet bag. Love this bag so much. This is a little Chanel wallet on chain. This one is from Furla. I wear this a lot during the summer. And then here we've got my Chanel boy, my Lady Dior. And these are my classic flat bags. So this is the black one with the gold hardware. And this this is a beautiful red with silver hardware. This bag is super, super old. This was actually my mom's bag. When I did my first ever what's in my bag video on YouTube years and years ago, it was this bag that I used. I don't really use this bag a lot, but I like to keep it there for sentimental value. And then I have my Celine luggage tote on the top. It's perfect for traveling. It fits my laptop. And I think the design is really chic and timeless as well. So those are my handbags. And then last but definitely not least, we've got a little shoe area here. This area does get changed out quite a lot when it is um, summer or when it's winter. When it's summer, I like to have like sandals and um, flats and things like that. But I put those away during the winter time and I take out all of my boots. On the top shelf here, I have some of my um, high-heeled shoes, like some pumps, some high-heeled sandals. These really inspire me and I like the way that they look. So I do keep these out even if it's winter. This is one of my favorite favorite pairs of shoes. They're from John Vito Rossi. They're just the classic black pump in like a black suede. They are so comfortable, so chic. I also have them in this. I think this color is called um, praline and they're in a more like shiny patent leather um, finish. And then we've got some boots over here. These are flat boots and then these have a little bit of a heel. And then these are some of Mo's shoes. These are not most shoes, these are mine. They just didn't fit there. And then I've got my um, Dior sneakers there as well. So that is my closet, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Just to recap, I would say one of the main things that I do very very often to keep things organized and clean is to give things away i do also consider it part of my job to get new things to show you guys new looks new inspirations new trends but at the end of the day i am quite simple in the terms of like i don't like to have too much stuff so even though i get a lot and i buy a lot i also like to give away i think when things are organized and clean and you actually have maybe less things that you wear more often than just to have a whole bunch of stuff just to have it. 
I feel like it gives you more clarity of mind as well and more ease when it comes to getting dressed. So I hope that I showed you guys some good ways and like little techniques on how to organize things, uh, maybe some inspiration. Let me know if you guys would like to see a summer, like a spring summer edition of this type of video and I can definitely do that when the weather gets warmer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having an amazing day and I will see you on Sunday with a new video. Mwah. Bye guys.